Hey guys, this is another tutorial for Lizardman Bastilodon. Um, I primed it with Citadel Black Primer and already started airbrushing it a bit. I'm using uh, Sota Green Paint and I'm basically going to airbrush all the skin on it with Sota Green Paint. Similar thing I'm going to do with the skins, just this time I'm going to do the genital highlights instead of coloring the whole miniature. I'm doing now white highlights with airbrush. I'm using this paint, it's model color white. Just like that. And another layer, this time white zenithal highlight. This is how it looks after white highlights. I'm gonna now um, dry brush it with a white from Model Color, the same white was that was used for the highlight. And a dry brush for skink. Now I'm painting highlights with Lamenters Yellow from Citadel. I'm taking the paint straight from the cup.
now I'm washing everything with Coralia Green Shade. Uh, I did a mixture of the shade and water, it's three parts, water one part, shade. I'm doing another shade with Drakenhof Nightshade straight from the cup this time Final shade, I'm using Gucci Violet from Citadel. Start from the cup again. I'm washing now whole skin in Coralia Green Shade. I'm dry brushing the carapius with corn red. I'm dry brushing now with Evil Sun Scarlet. Next layer, this time 
Control Slayer Orange. Uh, dry brushing again. Just this time, uh, I'll mostly focus on the sides. I will add a little bit on the top, just, just a bit. Like that. Next dry brush step, flash gets yellow. Again, just mostly on the sides, but with a little bit on the top, just a little highlight. Yep. Last highlight with white scar. Dry brush again. And a little bit on the skin. I'm using Lamenter's Yellow Glaze. And I'm going to do all the spikes, just leaving the edges untouched. And now with the same glaze, I will do a little shades just next to the highlights on the skin. To add some more color. I have already painted snakes with 
uh, white with airbrush and dry brush them with white as well. I'm going now to dry brush uh, the arc of Satek with creamy brown now. It's a very simple step, just painting like that, leaving the recesses black. And I'm going to paint the uh, solar thing with uh, warp lock browns. Again, dry brush. Same technique. And I'm going to paint both of these parts except for the. I have dry brushed. Solar engine with um, warp lock bones, the same I did with uh, I've painted the skinks spears with the same paint and also handles on the basilogon. And this is how it looks after the first dry brush. I'm going to now dry brush a uh, solar engine with Gehenna's gold and um, the Sotek arc with. Screaming school. Just basically the same thing as before. Uh, I'm going to do the same for the handles and the this part of a spear. Final um, dry brush this time, Rune Fang Steel, and again on the sole, the metallic parts. Should basically look like that. Same for the handles and the spears. Now I'm painting all the metallic parts with Tamiya color smoke, just straight from the cup. and basically the whole thing. Now I'm dry brushing the arc of Sotek with uh, white. Just this time mostly focusing on the top and the edges. Now I'm shading armor with a little bit of Kyber Crimson. and Turchi Violet. I will also paint spikes with Carabor Crimson. To add a little bit more contrast. And it should look like that. A little bit of Dutchy Violet. I 
like that. I'm going to paint now uh, the plants on the arc with Coelia green shade. Simple step like that. Now I am washing all the metallic parts with syrup in sepia. And it should look like that. I'm doing shadows for skinks with cream and blue. Now I'm adding another shade with white washer green, it's a glaze. I'm basically going to paint the head. Um, hands, legs and a tail. Uh, I'm doing crystals with the same color. And all these little faces will be also painted red. Uh, just remember to go through all the crystals, this one, the top one, the bottom one and the front one. Uh, now I'm using Troll Slayer Orange and I'm painting all the crystals um, and the cloth as well. Uh, I've decided to paint all the uh, cloths with uh, the airbrush because it was just faster and better than the brush. Something like that. And the same for the crystal. Um, I'm focusing now mostly on the edges. To leave a little bit of orange shining from underneath. So I basically go like that. Yeah. And also a little bit on the faces in the middle of it. Here I'm mostly focusing on the bottom of the crystal.
like that. Um, painting now crystals with flash kits yellow. It's going to be a little bit tricky with this camera in front of me, but I'll try to do my best. Again, you want to just focus on the edges of the crystal. Something like that. Yep, and also the top. And the face. I also did the fangs and the bastilodon. And of course the other crystal. And I'm also doing the base. It's basically the same thing as on the crystals. Um, Evil Sun's um, red, then Troll Slayer orange, and uh, Flash Gets yellow. And it looks like that. Um, I'm rushing now. Model color white. Just whole crystal like that, and the faces of course. Uh, I am going to wash now crystal with Cassandra yellow. Sometimes it's really hard to paint with the camera in front of me. Like that, I'm going to now paint also faces and the bottom crystal and then I will move to the shading. Uh, I'm painting now white highlights with my brush. Just the edges of the crystal. Like that. Uh, I'm using now uh, the clear red from Hobby Color, and I'm going to paint spear a little bit. And teeth. Yeah, something like that. This is how finished models look like. Um, I was jumping during this tutorial from one model to another, so you might have 
seen some differences but uh, all the techniques and paints were exactly the same for both of them and hope you enjoyed the tutorial all the comments and questions as always are welcome and see you next time